So, what's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing, welcome back to another Zombies video, where today I am taking your questions from the comments section below and answering them. If there's anything you want to know for the next video, be sure to leave your comments down below. Also, if you're going to enjoy the video, by the end, a like rating as always would be very much appreciated, but of course you don't have to if you don't want to. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest Zombies videos on the channel, and also click the notification icon next to it as well. Thank you all so much for the support on the videos lately, we have just hit 376,000 subscribers. So for me, that's amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get straight into the video. Here we go. So the first question of today is from Pigs and Pugs. Trolling and more, I guess that's what your channel is. But you say, when you said Dr. Monty gives you drops, well, in The Giant, Rick often says feeling nice today, Samantha? And that's correct. Whenever we get an insta-kill or a max ammo, in not only the giant, but this also happens in Darius and Draka, Richtofen will sometimes say quotes like, are you feeling nice today, Samantha? Or basically indicates that Samantha is the one giving us these perk drops. When we know that isn't the case, that is Dr. Monty, so why is Richtofen saying this? Well, actually, in Der and Draka, now that he's gone through the giant, later on in Der and Draka, he will then begin to question if actually it is Samantha giving us the drops. He will say things like, is it really you, Samantha? And he will begin to get confused. And then by the time Zetsubo Noshima and Gorad Karovi comes around, it's almost like he doesn't believe that Samantha is the one giving them the drops anymore. And this is because Rick Richtofen and the giant would have thought that Samantha was in control. He would have thought she was in control of the zombies because the premise version of Richtofen arrives out of the teleporter in the giant after the ultimate version of him has sent Maxis and Samantha away. And because of that, that would have meant or should have meant at least that Samantha could have become trapped in the MPD and taking control of the zombies. As we know, that wasn't the case. She didn't go inside of the MPD, but Richtofen probably thought that she did. He thought that Samantha was in control of the zombies in the giant giant, hence why he was saying things like feeling nice today, Samantha, thinking that she was the one giving them the drops. But like I said, by the time Dryson Draco comes around, he begins to question this. He starts to question if Samantha really is in control and giving them the perk drops. And then when Gorod Karovi finally comes around and Dr. Manta reveals himself, we then know that actually all this time Samantha hasn't been in control of the zombies. She hasn't been giving us these perk drops. It has in fact been Dr. Monty. So hopefully that answers your question. The next question from the Joke Boy says, does Jackie Vincent know Michael Finn O'Leary? So if you play Shadows of Evil as Jackie Vincent, you will hear him say quotes about all four of our Mob of the Dead characters. The Weasel, Sal, Finn and Billy. And this is what he will say about Finn. Finn O'Leary's whiskey tasted better than this shit. So he says Finn O'Leary's whiskey tastes better than this shit. And we know that in Shadows of Evil, Finn O'Leary has a bar there. He has a bar in Morgue City. You can see it here, it's called O'Leary's B&L. And actually the whole crime family of Sal DeLuca, which was all four of our Mob of the Dead inmates, since they were all part of Sal's crime family, they all seem to have businesses in Morgue City. Al had a barber shop. Sal DeLuca, the mob boss, would bring his clothing for washing to Chang's laundry. Sal DeLuca also had a shipping dock or a shipping port. I'm not exactly sure what it is. But again, you can see it here in Morgue City where he would have taken deliveries. The only one that I can't really see any references to was Billy Hanson. And that might be because we know Billy wasn't really much of a businessman himself, but he sorted out out other people's businesses. And so he was hired by Sal to take care of anyone that wouldn't pay Sal his money. Hence why Billy ended up killing 116 people. But all three of the other mobsters have businesses in Shadows of Evil. So they were working and active here. Now we know that Sal DeLuca opened gambling houses across Chicago, which was basically the beginning of the DeLuca crime family. That was in 1922. And he would then later go on to hire his other mates. Billy Hansom, who would take care of Sal's dirty work. Michael Finn O'Leary, who was the expert in gambling and sports rigging. And then finally, he would hire Al, who was a master schemer and bank robber. But we know that soon enough, for Sal's business, after many years of successful bribes with the city, it became clear to him that these options were no longer available. And so Sal, in order to get more money in, decided to join a heist with the weasel. But the LA heist went wrong, and Al ended up waking up in hospital. And Jackie Vincent says in Shadows of Evil, I once busted a little weasel who tried to use one of these to blast open a bank safe. 
dumbass nearly blew himself up. So he tells us that he arrested a weasel that tried to blow up a bank safe. Now of course we know that Jack is a cop, so it seems like he arrested Arlington. Was it for this heist specifically, or was it for another one, it's not really clear, but it could have been for the LA heist, and which as we know went wrong, which led to Al getting arrested, but obviously because of his injuries, first off he had to go to hospital, and after spending time in hospital recovering, he then was sent to Alcatraz. So ultimately, it was Jackie Vincent who got the weasel sent down to the rock. So with the weasel now in hospital, this only left Sal, Billy, and Finn. But as we know, literally a month later, angry and frustrated with his collapsing empire, Sal kills a prostitute. And because of this, no longer willing to turn a blind eye, the Chicago PD arrests him. We know that Morgue City is Chicago, Jack Vincent is part of the Chicago PD, and he says in this quote, Could have used this when I busted Sal's liquor joint. <laughs> that he busted Sal's liquor joint. So it also seemed like it was Jack Vincent that arrested Sal. And this now only left Billy and Finn. Again, literally three weeks later, in the same operation against the DeLuca crime family, Billy was arrested for multiple homicides. This, one of Billy Handsome's trophies? And then Finn was arrested by the Chicago PD when his wife offered to give evidence against him for the crimes he had committed. And so the Chicago PD had arrested all four inmates and sent them to life sentences in Alcatraz. And the way that Jack Vincent says all of these things, it makes it sound like he was the one who arrested each and every one of them. The weasel in a LA heist, Sal when they busted his liquor joint for killing a prostitute, they busted Billy Hansen for multiple homicides, and finally Finn O'Leary when his wife gave evidence against him. Jack Vincent, it seems, sent all four inmates to Alcatraz. So that's interesting. The next question of today comes from Death Rule and he says, please answer. How does 115 affect you? Is it like a disease? Do you die first, then you turn into a zombie? Your videos are awesome, so thank you for that. But actually, the best way to answer this question is to look at Shadows of Evil, where whilst Mr. Rat was sending the reporter to do objectives for him around Shadows of Evil, a meteor shower began to rain over Morg City. This was on January the 15th of 1943. So this meteor shower rained over Morg City, and we presume this to be element 115, since we know that is a meteor that falls from the sky. And when this happened, a strange mold then began to grow everywhere. The reporter noted that people began to get sick and acting delirious. A fruit vendor told the reporter about the ancient order of the keepers and how they are the only ones holding back the forces of the apocalypse. And he then began to talk about hearing chanting from beneath the city. But that first bit gives us a good idea of how 115 affects people. Just after the meteor shower rained into Mug City, strange mold began to grow everywhere, and then not long after, people began to get sick and act delirious. This was an effect of 115. So first off, it turns people sick, it makes them act strange, and then I presume it kills them, and whilst they are dead, their cells then begin to reanimate, turning them into the undead. They come back to life as zombies. And it was a similar situation in Origins. As we know, as soon as they unearthed element 115 from the dig site, everyone in France then began to turn sick, people began dying around the dig site, and then whilst they were dead, their cells get reanimated, their cells change, turning them in to zombies. So that's the best answer I can give you. In in Jow 856 says, why do you hear screaming in Verrucht, love your vids. So Verrucht, if you didn't know, is German for crazy or insane, but it's also known as the Asylum. It is a Group 935 facility in the Wittenau Sanatorium located in Berlin, Germany. It was a place where Group 935 would do experiments on living humans, specifically prisoners of war. They would capture them, take them here, and then experiment on them, ultimately, in the end, most of the time, killing them. And so when we hear the screams in Verrucht, it is, I guess you could say, a reminder of what Group 935 were doing here. The next question is from Jonathan Cordova, and he says, why is Mob of the Dead in Revelations? Please, I love your videos. So we can see Mob of the Dead in Revelations, just like a lot of our other maps. We also have Shangri-La, Origins, Horizon Draka, Buried, Kino Der Toten, Nak Der Untoten, Verrucht, we have a little bit of Zetsubo no Shima. So we have a lot of our maps in 
revelations. We know that this happened when the Shadow Man unleashed the Apothecans on Monty's perfect universe. Now, we don't exactly know. It doesn't say in the Canorium what this is a case of. It doesn't explain this. But somehow it seemed like when the Shadow Man did this action, it caused Dr. Monty's perfect universe to become broken, just like many other ones out there. And different parts of other universes, as I said, Shangri-La, Dries and Draka, etc., were somehow teleported, little fractures of them, little bits of them, were teleported into Revelations, into Monty's perfect universe, hence why we can see them. I wish it gave us a better explanation of this, um, but it doesn't. But anyway, guys, there we go. That is all I have for you for today's video. Hopefully, as always, you have enjoyed. If you have a like rating, would be very much appreciated. But if not, it doesn't matter. It's totally up to you guys. Make sure you are subscribed to stay up to date with the latest Summies videos on the channel. And let me know anything that you want to ask in the comment section below. I'll try and answer them in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.